The question then becomes, so who do I choose? How do I choose the right technology? Um, who do I choose as a partner? And it really comes down to, as a publisher, what you value. Uh, if, if you really value uh, transparency and control, and you want to be able to see what's going on with the auction logic, um, and you want to be able to control the timeouts more directly and, and make sure that uh, calls are being handled um, asynchronously and, and not impacting user experience from that perspective, then potentially client side is the solution for you. Um, however, if your priority is, is to incre increase revenue yield um, just as a blanket statement, it's not really clear. And this it really depends on not only your demand partners, but also your buyers and your setup, um, your inventory, all of those factors are gonna come into play. So because there is not a clear cut winner, um, the hybrid approach has come into play a lot. And what the hybrid approach is, it, it's straightforward to understand, is publishers use a combination of client side and server side header bidding in tandem. Uh, at the same time, right? So we work with a lot of publishers. Uh, I would say more than half of the publishers we work with, the majority of publishers are using this hybrid approach of having both technologies in place. So that allows someone, for example, to set, uh, to set up, um, for example, a technology like pre-bid, which is one of the, the more, more common client-side technologies, but then also use server-to-server -server technologies like uh, Amazon TAM and um, uh, Google Open Bidding, right? So what does this allow a publisher to do is it allows you to get a little bit of, of both worlds um, and it allows you to maybe keep your premium paying sellers that are matching a lot of cookies, keep them on the client side, uh, but then also, you know, add some of the other demand partners um, to the server side, maybe add more demand partners to the server side and, and try both setups and see how your yield improves. So the, the, one, uh, the one counter argument to this is that it does uh, introduce additional complexity. Um, and now you're not only operational complexity, because now you're managing two different uh, wrappers or containers or more, maybe even more than that. Um, but you're also the, it becomes a little bit more challenging to, to correlate and to pinpoint um, what, what actually is driving yield because you have so many variables, right? You have a client side wrapper with many different demand partners. You have a server side wrapper with many different demand partners. Many times one exchange or SSP like, you know, an OpenX or a Rubicon could be in both the client side and the server side. So publishers are, are trying different things and experimenting with, with uh, different options, but uh, it, it does, it could introduce some challenges with respect to um, trying to correlate and, 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 uh, and set up some controlled experiments to optimize your yield.